So when I talk about design, I talk about a specific process, a specific thinking process, okay? And I define it as this. It's the process of making meaningful decisions with a clear intention in order to achieve a certain result, okay? So these are the components of design thinking and like design process in general. So there has to be an intention. There, is, there has to be a result to achieve. And then you have to make decisions that are meaningful in order to achieve that result. OK. Now, the definition is incredibly vague and I understand that. Okay, so if this doesn't really explain everything and it's quite obscure, that's fine. Hopefully you will, you will gonna clarify it um, in the rest of the lesson. But the idea is also that it's deliberately like uh, it's deliberately vague because it has to apply to many, many things as as I just said. OK, so let's try to simplify this conversation and I have an example for you, which is um, which is quite straightforward. OK, uh, have you ever seen this guy? Are you familiar with this quintessential evil dude? OK, so you all know who he is. You know that he might or might not be uh, the father of someone else and uh, blah, blah, blah. OK, uh, but what it is before all of that is a character design, right? OK, so. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do well, we're going we're gonna to do it together, like I, I'm going to do it, you're going to do it in your head, but we're going to do a little mental exercise and the mental exercise is imagine that you are you have to describe so to someone Darth Vader okay, and this this guy here, you have to describe to someone else who has to draw it, okay? But you cannot show any image whatsoever, okay? So what are we gonna say? Okay, first of all, he's a very tall guy and it's a very big guy with very broad shoulders. He is dressed completely in black, okay? Part of the outfit are uh, hard and shiny, kind of like an armor, for example, on the shoulders. Other parts of the outfit are more soft, uh, so it's like um, it's a softer cloth, but it's very close to the uh, to the skin. Okay, it's not like draping. Uh, then he has uh, a panel with some buttons that look like a, a stereo from the 1970s on his chest. Okay, with different colors like orange, red, yellow, and blah blah blah. Uh, now on on his head, he's got an helmet. Now. Um, uh, you might you might have to look the uh, to look this up, but it looks basically like a German World War II helmet. It looks pretty much exactly like a German World War II helmet, uh, otherwise known as a Nazi helmet. Okay. Now remember the meaningful decisions. Do you think this decision is random <laughs> or is meaningful? Uh, very clearly, right? There is a message behind there. Uh, so this helmet is all painted black and it's very shiny. And in the space where the face should be, there is no face, but there is another part of the helmet. So there is like a like a solid part that is shaped almost like a skull, okay? With this very exaggerated triangular shape that it's almost like the the, the nose of a on a, on a, like the nose nasal cavity on a skull. Uh, then he has like a long cape. He has gloves, blah, blah, blah. OK, we got it. So this person next to us has drawn something that probably looks fairly similar to this. OK. And imagine that, imagine that this is what the person drew. OK, now this is an image from uh, Star Wars uh, from Disney Infinity, which is a video game uh, that was uh, kind of like going on a few years ago. So imagine that this person drew, uh, this is the image that he drew, 
okay? It would be spot on, right? That it responds one-to-one -to, -one to the description that I just gave to this person, okay? But when we look at the artwork, when we look at the rendering, when we look at the quality of the materials, like the way that they, re they react to the light, when we look at the proportions, in other words, when we look at everything that we consider art style, these two images are words apart. They're not just different, they are words apart. And yet, this is the same design. Does it make sense? Okay. What I really want to push on you is the fact that design does not equal art style. Not in the way that we are going to talk about design. Okay, with other teachers, it could, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, don't get me wrong. Again, design is a is a very flexible word, but I just want to make it very clear from the very beginning where my attention is going to be and where I want your attention to be when we work together. And if this was not enough, there's this which is, yet again, it could be, might as well be the same drawing that the person did, okay? It's the same design, but again, from a artwork point of view, there is nothing whatsoever that these three images share together, okay? So what about uh, environments and props and stuff like that? Well, let's stay within uh, Star Wars. Uh, let's look at these very iconic design the, of the Millennium Falcon. And let's do the same exercise, okay? So I'm going to tell this person that is sitting next to me, uh, look, this is, a, this is a spaceship. It's basically a big flat disk. That is the first thing that I'm going to say, okay? And then I'm going to say, okay, but at, imagine that there is a front to this disk, and at this front there are two bits that stick out. There are basically two triangles, okay? Now, don't make them pointy, make them, uh, make the, the, the tip flat, okay? But other than that, they are two triangular bits that push out on one end. Then there is a big ceiling, uh, there is a ceiling there at the center that is kind of like extruded, is raised, uh, but only slightly. And then there is a ceiling there uh, on the side with a cone attached to it, which is basically the uh, cockpit. OK, uh, the whole thing is uh, gray. It's got different shades of gray. Um, and uh, there are some accents of either a much darker gray or a rusty uh, red color. OK, so that's what I'm going to say. And imagine that that person gives me the drawing and it looks like this. Again, this is from Disney Infinity is there is the Disney Infinity rendition of the Millennium Falcon. Does it, does it um, check out with the uh, description that I gave? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a big flattened disc. There is a cylinder extruded. There are these two bits sticking out of the front. You know, they are kind of like triangles, but the, the, the tip has been flattened. At the point, uh, to a certain degree, we're gonna. This is just an introduction. Okay, it's almost like I'm. Almost, I'm almost like. Uh, <clears throat> um, it's almost like a disclaimer. This one for the uh, for the classes that we're gonna we're gonna have together. And um, so, what we're gonna be doing next is, first of all, we're gonna. We're going to take a, a break now, OK, in a, a couple of minutes. And then we're, we're, when we're back, we're going to play a little design game that hopefully will be uh, interesting and uh, fun and hopefully will keep you awake in this uh, Saturday afternoon uh, in which you decided that, you know, this was better than going out uh, and enjoy the probably amazing weather. 
uh, there. Uh, no? No, it's all right. It's not, not